Hello and welcome to Zigwheels, folks, and today we're here with the new Brezza. This is Maruti's blockbuster, and we have seen the Baleno before, and I'm going to the Baleno right at the beginning because we've seen what Maruti did with the Baleno, which was an evolution. And the story is no different here with the Brezza because they're trying to take this further up market, they're trying to make it more appealing. What have they done to do that? Well, we're going to find out a lot about that. Get under the skin also a little bit right now. But we'll start first and foremost with the prices because this is now going from 8 to 14 lakh rupees, which is, well, on the upper end, it is a bit of an increase. But why has that happened? What are you getting for that money? We're going to talk about that first. Let's start with what the bones of this car are. Now, the Brezza, as you know, is based on the Hardtech platform, which was European platform. This is still using the same platform. No changes to that, essentially, but it is using slightly different materials. There's use of more high tensile uh, there's use of more high tensile steel here, so it is stronger. And that's a great thing because the Brezza anyways was a four-star car. And along with that, there are more updates on the safety technology, like six airbags on the top end variant. So on that front, this should be doing better now in this new generation. Now, we've spoken about the platform is the same as before in terms of its core architecture. And that's important because that also tells us what the dimensions of the Brezza are going to be like. Right? I'm going to whip around to the other side. So I'm going to point out to the one dimension which is different and that's the height. But do you think it looks taller? Not really, right? I mean, you've got these roof rails here. But aside from that, the reason why the height has increased is because of the shark fin antenna, which you can see when you pop around to the back here, which is the tallest bit on top. And that's what caused that change in dimension that you would see on paper. But otherwise, in terms of its size, its proportions, it's pretty much the same. But how it looks and feels in the flesh has changed quite a bit. And for that, I'm going to come around to the front again because you have to look at the face, take a close look at it, right? Just a quick glance. And you know this looks different. You know, it will be something that you would be able to spot easily thanks to these LED DRL signatures that you've got here. It looks more premium because you've also got LED projector headlamps, you've got LED fog lamps, and it's got, overall, it's trying to look like a bigger car. It was already a wide car, it was a great family car in terms of its size and packaging and space on offer on the inside, but now it's trying to look more imposing. You can see that it looks wider, all the elements stretch from side to side. You've got this grey finish for the grille here, you've got these nice little inserts, you'll see them even around to the rear, where you can get this little different texture and use in different parts, which just make it look a bit more technical in my books. So this is the face of the Brezza, and uh, like I said, it's trying to look more sophisticated, and I think for the most part, it does a great job. But my favorite bit of the Brezza and the way it looks is around at the rear. Yeah? Let me show you. This. Just come around a little bit further this way. Yes. This is my favorite angle because here you can see these tail lamps which again stretch and try and widen the look of the Brezza. And if you just take a closer look, the LEDs also look very premium. They have this fused LED look which is something that makes, uh, you know, gives it a more sophisticated look. And the other bit that I want to draw your attention to over here is the way the lines flow. The shoulder line, the way it flows into the boot, all of it looks very well connected. This looks like a handsome vehicle in the flesh for sure. Now, it is distinctively a Brezza. Hey, I didn't point out one thing to you. You notice everywhere it just says Brezza. Uh-huh. Light bulb moment has happened. It happened for me a little late. The Vitara is gone. Is Maruti saving that name for something else that's coming later in the year? Maybe? Okay, first, the boot. Another clue to the fact that the dimensions are unchanged is the boot size, which is 328 litres, which is identical to the previous generation Brezza, right? Now, before we move into the interiors, I'll draw quick attention to one of the things that I spoke about earlier. You see this vertical stripes that have been used here, the texture used here. It just breaks up the mass, makes it look uh, nicer. It just looks more premium. Yeah, very cool, very cool on that front. The other thing that you will notice and one of the, I think, things that grab people's attention, the wheels, you've got 16-inch wheels here with this machine finish, dual tone. Uh, the sizes are pretty much what you'd expect for a vehicle in this class. And uh, aside from that, uh, just quickly telling you that Mar Maruti have a range of accessories. If you want to make this look more rugged, you could do that with different inserts to give it that 
well, more personalized look, a more rugged look. And you even get things like screens for the interior, for the windows, so that uh, it is just uh, more appealing for your taste, more SUV in that sense, right? And uh, I'm, I'm not going to step into the rear right now, but somebody's already there, so uh, I'll quickly show you around. Now, this is a very familiar cabin. I'm going to hop around to the other side. Okay, give me a second. Awesome. Here we go. So, one of the reasons why I've always rated the Brezza highly is this. Now, this back seat is genuinely usable as a family vehicle. You know, you've got enough width. Uh, you've got decent amount of knee room. Headroom is fine as well. So, even taller occupants are comfortable here. And this configuration has not change this is pretty much the same setup that we had in the previous generation and i think maruti are just like we are saying evolving the vehicle to feel more welcoming to feel more appealing and on that front we were told that the sound insulation on the brezza has been improved to make this a nicer cabin and that's something we'll be able to test out when we get to drive it which is going to be soon and uh, stay tuned to zigwheels to know when the review drops and just in terms of features before i step out you can see econ wens for the rear along with USB-A charging ports here. There's one USB-A and one USB-C. This is the C-A, right? Nice. See back pockets, no dedicated slots for the phone though. Well, that's something we could deal with. Do we have anything here? No, just simple cup holders. Yep. So, I'm gonna step out, step into the front seats, so uh, you can either follow me in from here, depending on what Neeraj, who's behind the camera, decides which way he wants to move, but that's fine. We're going in this way. Now, I think you'll agree with me that this looks very, very different from the previous generation Brezza. This was a must-have when creating a new gen Brezza because the older car just looked cheap when the new new onslaught of sub-meter SUVs came around, right? This just didn't match up to them. Now, in this case also, you can see that is a similar grain of plastics used for the dash top. You've got a different texture. Finally, somebody has realized that the camera would be better on the other side. So count to five. Ah, uh, yeah, here we are. So, right, so now you can see the textures here used for the midsection of the dash. It's got a slightly different color as well. Uh, the plastic used on the dash top. All of this is feeling nice and solid. It's not feeling flimsy, it's not feeling tacky. Could do things better, 100%. I'm gonna ask Neeraj to come a little bit closer. As you see over here around the air convents, so the finish for the plastic here is still not that great. And this is where quality perceptions really need to change and Maruti have to ace every little bit. And we've been told that they will fix that as well. Now, uh, this design of the dashboard is something that you will find familiar. It's again that connection to the Baleno and it is a great thing that there's a family uh, DNA, so to speak, but it's not identical. So this is a different dash compared to the Baleno. The steering wheel is something that's common and this feels premium, is chunky, good to hold, with switches here for your music system here, cruise control and uh, this is, of course, a 9-inch touchscreen infotainment system that we've seen before. And this gets uh, those few extra features that make this that much more premium in its segment, right? I'm just going to see if I can get that going to show you, right? The 360-degree camera, yes. And now this is... Well, you could say it's a little bit of a gimmick or do you really need it? But the point is, it is something that's very handy. When you're parking in tight spaces, if you're on unfamiliar ground, every little bit helps, right? And the other wow bit, of course, is the heads-up display, which is, again, borrowed from the Baleno and is a first in this segment. And a first for Maruti, this time around, is a sunroof. It's not large, but... It's there, and if you wanted that wind in the hair feeling, well, you've got that on a Maruti. And you know what? I was talking about this being one of the blockbusters for Maruti. I've got to point it out. It sounds unbelievable almost, but in the last eight days that they opened the bookings for this car, they've got 45,000. Because the core of this platform, of this product is so strong that, 
I guess people were just waiting for the next generation to come along. But is this really going to satisfy every one of them is something that we will find out when we drive it. And to do that, one of the important things that have changed here on the Brezza is of course the drivetrain. You now get that K15 engine which we saw with the XL6 which gets dual injectors which is all focused on fuel efficiency which is why now the number has gone up to over 20 kilometers per liter as claimed by the company whereas it was about 18 something earlier on. So it's become more fuel efficient. It is slightly down in terms of the performance figures in terms of the power and the torque uh, but there's going to be an improvement in the way it drives presumably because over here, as you see, this automatic shift lever that we have here is now paired with a six-speed automatic transmission. So yes, you are that right. This is the unit that you've already seen in the XL6 and has now made its way down to the Brezza. So when you look at this 360-degree camera, the heads-up display, the new engine with the dual injectors, you look at the new automatic gearbox, this is where all the additional cost has gone in to make the Brezza now that 14 lakh rupee vehicle. Now, is it going to make sense for you? Well, it depends. If you want the most premium cabin experience, this isn't going to be the vehicle because if you look at the finish, you do have other vehicles like the Sonnet, which has really been setting the template in terms of the premiumness that you could expect, the features that you could expect. You still do not get ventilated seats here, right? So that's something that a lot of people do ask for nowadays. Uh, you know, uh, sun blinds for the rear windows, uh, things like that. But you do have automatic climate control, nice controls for that. Simple. I like the fact that it's nice, clicky, and easy to use. You don't have to think too much about it. So what the Brezza does, has done in the past, is get the basics right, which is no different here with this car, but it's now layering it with more feel-good elements with it, right? To make it more appealing. Oh. I missed out on one feature. It's also got wireless charging now. Yeah. How important is that to you? It wasn't very much to me until I upgraded my phone and I got wireless charging on that. So it's become a kind of must have, especially now when you consider this infotainment system is also paired with wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, which just makes things more convenient. So yeah, this is Maruti Suzuki's new Brezza, not the Vitara Brezza. And uh, you know the prices of it. If you want more details of it, head to zigwheels.com. And how is it going to be to drive? We're going to be telling you right here in a few days. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching.